In today's video, I'm gonna show you the new way to multi-stream to multiple platforms. Obviously, we're gonna be streaming to Facebook and YouTube at the same time, but you can add as many destinations as you want. So let's get into it. What's going on guys? My name is Sammy watching that production tips and tools helping you master live streaming. So first thing you need, you need to get a, a plugin called Atom Multi Stream. You can go to atom.tv and then go here where it says download. So this is the plugin. It's called Atom Multi Stream and it's 100% free. Just click to it. I already have mine. Just click to it. It's going to show up in your download folder and you can go ahead and click to it and install. Again, before you have to install before you open OBS and once it's installed, you're going to go ahead and actually open OBS and you're going to go ahead and go to Docs and it's going to show up here and it's going to be called Atom Multi Stream. So we want to make sure you click on it and then it's going to show up here. Again, it's going to be a doc and you can put it anywhere you want uh, inside OBS. Once you have that set up, the first thing we need to do, we need to set up our main stream, which is going to be, again, you can decide which one you want to be the main. But for us, we want to make sure we actually make YouTube the main. So we're going to go here to settings. OK, assuming you already have your camera and microphone all, and all the scenes that you need. And then we're, we're going to go to stream. We're going to go ahead and choose YouTube. And then we're gonna leave here primary YouTube ingester server. It's gonna be like that. Now for this stream, we're gonna be using a stream key. So we need to go to our YouTube. Now you wanna go ahead and click uh, create and choose go live. And then you can go ahead and schedule a stream or you can actually just go to stream and then you can just choose whatever is there. You can edit, add the title to your stream, add the description and everything. Make sure it looks good. OK, make sure if you want it to be public, you can go down here. You can add a thumbnail add to a playlist. Like make sure you go through the whole settings that you need for your live stream. Once you're done, all you need to do is just go ahead and copy the stream key. OK, just copy the stream key and then go back to OBS. And then what we need to do is we're going to go here and then paste our stream key in here. Another thing we want to make sure we get the settings right. So you want to make sure you go to video first and then make sure your base canvas is 1920 by 1080 and then your output resolution is 1920 by 1080, which is great. And then for output, you want to make sure you go under output mode, make sure it's on advanced, go to streaming. And if you have a video encoder, if you have a dedicated graphics card, you want to make sure you choose NVIDIA NVEC H264. If you don't, you can use X. 264. Other than that, you want to go to rate control, make sure it's constant bit rate. Bit rate, you can set it up depending on how much internet speed that you have available. You want to make sure you check that out. But if you have a, enough internet speed that can support six kilobits per second or six megabits per second, you can go ahead and actually choose between 6,000 and 10,000 kbps. Now, since we're going to be streaming on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. If your internet is not super well, we can keep it at 6,000 kbps because this is what Facebook takes as well. This is the max for Facebook. And then key, keyframe interval, you want to make sure you leave it at two seconds and basically everything else, keep it the way it is. You don't have to super complicate the process. Okay. So now we have YouTube kind of set up. Uh, the next thing we're going to set up our multi stream, which is going to be our Facebook stream for the moment. Now you're going to go under the A2 multi stream, click the gear icon and then we're gonna go to main canvas and i'm gonna remove whatever i have there right now and then i'm gonna hit add output and then i'm gonna choose facebook and then as you can see my first facebook server is already there my server link all i need is just my facebook stream key so now i'm gonna go to my facebook page and then i'm gonna go as if i was going to go live just click the go live button click go live and then what i need to do basically is to grab that stream key from facebook which is going to be right here. So you want to make sure you choose the streaming software as an option and then click copy and then go to OBS. Just enter the key that we just got and then hit create output. All right. Now you can go to advanced settings and then you want to make sure you check video encoder. Now, if we use six megabits per second or 6,000 kbps back in the main streaming uh, encoder, you can go ahead and use a video encoder, use main encoder and just leave it that way. It's going to be simpler. Now, if you want to be super fancy, you can go ahead and choose the same encoder that we used back in the actual main OBS settings 
And then you can choose some of the things here, like, you know, everything manually, bit rate, you can put at 6,000 and everything. But again, if you wanna keep it simple, you can just simply just use the main encoder and use the same bit rate that we set up back in the YouTube stream. So now we have everything set up, okay? All we need to do is, I just need to hit start streaming. This is gonna be going to YouTube. And then the next thing, what I need to do here for my Facebook output, I just need to hit start streaming. And then this icon right here, this is gonna be going to Facebook. Now, this one that says built-in stream, this is the stream that we just did, we set up in here. And then basically we should be sending a feed to both YouTube and Facebook. So now if I go to Facebook here, as you can see, I'm getting the feed. Now if I go to YouTube also, I should be getting the feed coming in, no problem. So the only thing I have to do right now, I'm live on YouTube. And the other thing on Facebook, you need to add your title and description. So you can just go ahead and say test, test. And once you're done, just click save. And then as you can see, you have this button that if I click it, I'll be live on Facebook as well. So guys, this is how you do it. Now, if you want to make sure you nail the settings, because if you mess up the settings, guys, you're going to start having error issues and everything. And if you want to make sure you nail the settings and everything, guys, to get your multi-streaming right, you want to make sure you check out this video and I'll see you there, guys.